Welcome to the channel. My name is Elia. And I'm Reese. And we own a property preservation company titled Apex Preservation. Today we're going to be talking about our experience in property preservation. Now, how we got into this field is we took Daniel Pierce's course, Property Preservation Mastery com and I will the link is below if you are interested in getting started in property preservation so today we're going to be talking about our experience in the field all right we have been doing our company for the last six months and so we're going to give you our experience from the field perspective now Daniel's courses will teach you how to get your company started how to get your LLC get your insurance and what you need to start your company but today we're not going to be talking about that aspect of the business. We're going to be talking about actually being out in the field and doing the work in property preservation. So the first question we have today, because Reese is out in the field, he does most of the work for our company. So what has been your experience in property preservation? My experience has been very good so far. Uh, as I go, I pick up more experience each and every task. So what kind of tasks do you actually do out in the field? Uh, the tasks that I perform out in the field are like landscaping, drywall repair, light electrical, light plumbing, debris removal, gutter cleaning, home inspections, initial secures, and evictions. Okay, wow. So you're pretty much, you're doing a lot of different tasks and are you doing all of that every single day or how does it work uh as the orders come in that determines what gets done that day I, it might be a, just a few initial secures where i will go do lot changes winterizations and then a, and then do a home a whole home inspection okay all right and so would you say that, you know, it takes you a whole eight hours to do any one of those tasks? Like, how long would it take you to do something like that? Well, for me, it, it doesn't take a whole eight hours to do a, do one of those tasks because I have experience. To others who don't have the experience, it may take them longer. But um, I would say an initial secure with, with lock change and winterization takes me about two hours uh other tasks like uh landscaping that may take a bit longer depending on the uh the growth of the green greenery okay and so when you say you do landscaping like what kind of jobs do you do with within landscaping uh initial grass cuts uh tree trimming uh, cutting hedges uh, vine, wild vine removal, and then as I'm cutting it down, also removing it off of the property as well. Okay. Awesome. So what would you say is um, the type of task that would you would expect to be paid the most doing? Debris removal and landscaping, for sure. Okay. So those are your money makers right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. Okay, so what task pay the least? Home inspections, for sure. And what does that consist of when you say home inspections? Just going in, taking about 300 to 700 pictures of the property, inside and out, uh, every room, uh, from about four angles, um, taking a picture of the crawl space, the attic, uh, street signs. All right. And how about how much do those tasks pay? They job? typically pay anywhere from 10 to $15, mostly 10. Uh, but I will say if I, if I had a choice, the no knock tasks and the knock tasks are, I would say worth it because they're pretty quick. The no-knock tasks, you don't have to get out your car. You don't have to speak to anybody. You don't have to knock on any doors. You're just taking pictures of the property, the front, and just determining if it's vacant, determining if, uh, if there's any damages, 
those are basically your uh, bankruptcy tasks. And then the knock tasks where you have to get out, you knock on folks' doors and let them know uh, who you are, where you're from, why you're there. And just taking pictures of the outside of the home. Uh, those are good because sometimes people don't want you there and they tell you to go. You still get paid. Okay. All right. So would you recommend property preservation? And if so, who would you say it's for? Oh, sure. I, I would recommend property preservation for sure to anybody willing to do the work. And for and who I would recommend it for would be people who want to be independent from their job. They want to take control of their paycheck. Um, they want a different lifestyle. You know, they're, they're tired of going to work for, for somebody and having them make all the money and they're just walking away with peanuts, maybe. You know, families who are trying to start businesses, trying to uh, move into that entrepreneur set. Right, because we, we run our business like, like a family business, right? Yes, So, for sure. You, you do your, your role and then I play my role. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. So, um, what has been your best month revenue? Best month revenue? Mm -hmm. um, what, 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 what has been? All right. So, I pretty much, I, I keep track of the numbers and stuff. So, our best month has been about uh, $6,600 we brought in in one month. And um, that's within uh, six months of us being in business, we've been able to average about $6,000 uh, a month. And so we're looking to take our business to, you know, 10,000 a month or, or better. And it's very possible to, to accomplish that. And that those numbers, they don't reflect the whole month because we averaged that and haven't even worked a full month. Right. We would probably work, what is it, maybe 20 days out of the month, maybe? Yeah. Something like that. And and why is that? Can you explain, like, why? why well, it doing? all depends on how the orders come in. Mm -hmm. And when you get, when we get an order, my mission is when I get out there, they send me out there for a certain task. And while I'm doing that task, I'm also looking for other things that need to be done. So I try to, you know, collect another four to five hundred dollars while I'm out there, on top of what they're already paying us to be out there for. So does that mean that you're like when you're at a property, you're trying to find what other repairs need to be fixed, exactly, or what other things need to be corrected, and then you we submit a bid for that. Yes, exactly. All right, cool. So um, would you say that we mostly get paid off of submitting bids versus just the, the allowable work that they have? Uh, most of it is, is, is bid work. Yeah. For sure, most of it is bid work. Yeah. So that's how you make most of your money, by doing the bid work. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. So um, basically, yes, you we are getting paid mostly by submitting bids. So uh, when we got started with doing this, we weren't necessarily good at submitting bids but we start we learned how to use the software bid, bidding software there's bidding software that is industry standard and we got good with the, using that software and then we came up with our own system on how to uh, submit bids so um, that's how we you know started to get the money making jobs and that's what you will be required to do in preservation you will be required to submit bids and that's how you mostly get paid all right. So is there anything else that you would recommend to somebody that maybe is interested in property preservation or um, maybe they're not sure if they property preservation is for them? Um, yeah, I, I would say you, property preservation is not for everybody, mm -hmm. but you will not know it's for you or not for you if you don't give it a try. So if you're interested 
and you're not sure how you're going to get it started. You're not sure about, you know, the money costs because you, you have to have capital already. This is not one of those like, hey, you can start with no money. Start with no money. Well, you can. And we can show you how. But you, you're going to have to have a little bit of capital behind you. Uh, and then you're going to have to be confident in what you're doing. Even if you truly don't know what you're doing or you have a, a, a somewhat of an idea, just stay confident and, and, and do it. I always say, you know, uh, if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing anything. So you just have to get out there and go get it. All right. So we don't want to make this video too long. We just wanted to, you know, give you some foundational information on property preservation in our company. Um, check the links below for how you can get started in property preservation. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and we will get back with you at our earliest commence. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.